The Auckland Multicultural Society puts on an annual festival, which is a feast of dancing and celebration of cultures. Geraldine went to this year's event to check it out. Colour, beauty, variety. People of all ethnicities came together to celebrate each other's cultures at this year's Lakeside Multicultural Festival. It's very fun and very exciting. You're very, very energetic, I would say that, but um, I love it. The festival's in its 11th year and is enjoyed by Asian, European and Pacific cultures alike. Here at the festival, I'm surrounded by 18 different cultural groups. It's impossible not to be dazzled by the colours and styles unique to each nationality. I thought it was really interesting to come and see the minority groups. Here we saw things like Iranian and Hungarian dancing and old style English dancing, which is really, really nice to see. Yeah, it's not something which you're exposed to on a daily basis. I'm seeing a lot of good music and then different costumes, and it's getting together, seeing the New Zealand multicultural uh, thing being displayed here today. That's why I've come here. This event is the highlight of the Auckland Multicultural Society's calendar. This year the Society marks its 30th birthday, making it the longest running multicultural group in Auckland. When I came to New Zealand it was still very much bicultural and there was no other organisation in Auckland um, except the Multicultural Society which started to bridge the gap between the Kiwi culture, if you like, the Anglo-Saxon and Maori culture, and all the other nations coming in. John Buckland's been involved with the society for 28 of its 30 years. During this time, he's seen a lot of changes. There were times when people probably were diffident or couldn't be bothered to show much interest or support for the kinds of goals we were working toward. Now. The diversity of our cultures is so intense and so uh, widespread that you really can't escape running into people or having neighbours who are of other cultures. And I, I think people are just taking this kind of uh, change in our lives aboard and uh, really enjoying it. This festival is where these changes can take place by helping people learn about each other. And for us it's a big honour uh, to participate in this festival because here we can make a lovely friendship with people from other dancing group in Auckland. My husband is a Bulgarian, so I want to know more uh, Bulgarian traditional. So I, I joined the Bulgarian team and I enjoy the dance with Bulgarian people. Koreans with Bulgarians, Chinese with the Chileans. It seems the multicultural societies having the effect they desired. Um, we have three uh, Asian people. One is from China. The other person is from the other two person are from Taiwan, and we have two New Zealanders. And we have a lot of um, joy to learn. You know, I feel so honoured. They want to learn from my country dancers, and I'm so happy to teach them. After another successful festival. The society's hopeful about the future. If you watch the program today, you'll see there's a lot of interaction from children and families. Now, I think children uh, who are totally innocent, they, take, they don't prejudge, they take everything as they find them. And it's through children that adults learn to accept each other, integrate and assimilate. And I think that's the way to go. Well, that's all we have for you this week. You can also watch our program online at www.tvnz.co.nz, keyword Asia Down Under. And if you have any community notices, you can send them to asiadownunder at extra.co.nz. Till next week, kakite ano. This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.